Welcome back to Sexified Fallout New Vegas. I'm Rook, this lovely Spectre girl is nasty, and that's uh, that's Vanessa behind her there. And you know, I don't know if you noticed, I took Vanessa's monarch wings off of her because I just got tired of them. They look silly. Uh, they were, uh, you know, a novelty for a while, and now the novelty is worn off. And so we, she doesn't have to wear those wings anymore. They don't really do anything for her anyway, so whatever. But where are where are we? Where are we? We are out by Boulder. That's the ruins of Boulder City. And uh, there was a sign that said Hoover Dam. And why do we care about that? Because we got to talk to some colonel guy about something at Boulder Dam. Uh, but while we're running out there, um, I just wanted to say thank you again to our wonderful subscriber, STJ, who has informed me that had I still been at that freaking camp, I could have talked with that Vulpus dude about some other stuff. Oh, there's a sign. It's Hoover Dam. Okay, good. We're on the right track. Um, and he wouldn't have gotten mad at this girl for whatever. I mean, I was, I was concerned about proceeding with some dialogue. Um, but I didn't do that because I'd already left. I'd already got all my weapons re keyed and everything. So, thank you, CJ, for that mention. And I might go back and talk to him if I can after this Hoover Dam thing. But, um, yeah, not, not so much right at the moment. So, good. All right. We discovered Hoover Dam. That's great. 12 EXP. Wonderful. All right. Hopefully there aren't mines and stuff. But... We're going to go, uh, apparently, in here and track down Colonel whoever. So, while we're loading in, I'll just say thanks for joining, guys. I really appreciate any comments that you want to leave and tips and stuff like that, because I don't look things up, um, really. But where, where are we going? Yeah, but I do love comments uh, pointing out you know, that I'm being an idiot, or I'm... Hello. Hey, hello. Um, or just uh, tips to kind of help things along, or whatever. So, I, I'm thinking I need to go in the elevator thing, right? Yeah, that seems to be where I'm supposed to go. But is there a receptionist here or something? Anybody? What the hell? There's a snow globe. We're going to take it. Fantastic. Well, I almost missed that. I'm just, I'm not real. Okay, let's go. Yeah, sometimes I don't pay very close attention to my surroundings. I just run around and stare at nasties. But uh, if I played in first person, that probably wouldn't be as big an issue. But uh, it is. And, you know, we all have our vices. So we're going to find this colonel guy. Where's the colonel guy? In here? You got anything to say? Nothing? You guys, they seem on high alert. All right, let's go into the offices here. We'll find out what... What's going on? I mean, these guys, they're clearly trying to protect the dam from the Legion. And so this raises questions about if I do this, will I be able to go back and talk to that full B dude um, at the Legion? And are you the colonel? You look like a person that has a colonel in front of her name. So. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable, and right now I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Uh, wow, yeah, so, uh, yes ma'am. But she's, she's very confident, isn't she? Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Uh -oh. Have you heard of them? I have. Uh, you could say we've had dealings? But then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Um... What if I can convince them not to join the Legion? Don't fool yourself. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Was there anything else? Oh, God. 
Uh... Alright, no questions. Good. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Dismissed. Wow, okay. Visit the Great Cons and enlist their aid or destroy them. Alright, so I do have the option of enlisting their aid. Um, I... Look, I don't... I'm not all about just destroying everyone. You know? The Great Cons... Smart move for the Kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Yeah, you guys... I don't know about this NCR. I don't see as there's a whole lot of better choice in... Wait, am I supposed to go this way? I don't know, I guess. Um, but... Yeah, the NCR, I don't know. They're just... They're so... They're, they're wound fairly tight. Let's put it that way. So, Alright, well, let's just get out of here. We we know where the cons are. What, where Now where? Now where? Out here. No. What the hell? Back into the elevator? No, that doesn't seem right. I'm supposed to... What, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, let's just go outside. That was odd. My little my little pit marker was pointing me. Look at this. This is cool. What does this say? Illegible. Alright. But look at the big guns they've got set up here. Yeah, I can't remember. Honestly, guys, last time when I played this game all the way through, I think... I think my game was buggy or something, and I never actually got to the Battle of Hoover Dam. So, this will be interesting, but before we do all of that, there are other things I want to accomplish uh, that have to do with the DLC that content. That dam holds a lot of water. More than I've ever seen in one place at one time. Yeah, it does. That's what dams do. They hold back water. So, yeah, it's educational here as well. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever done all this stuff, but I know I've never done all of the... Um, let's Let's go. Let's... Just go to the great cons. I know I've never done all of the um, DLC stuff, so we're going to do that. And I'm thinking we'll probably, before we get too deep into this, well, I'll persuade the cons here, see if we can't get them on our side. Um, you know, if we have to destroy them, we have to destroy them, but we're, I'm already on good terms with them. We did some negotiations for them. And what? what is this place? Are we here? We're here. Wow. We're at, like, the main guy's house, I guess. Yeah, we're at the Great Con Longhouse. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's a shortcut. But, yeah, I want to do the DLC content before we go too deeply into all this other stuff. But I'm going to go into first person so I can see these people better. Hey. Yeah? Hey, just want to say hi. Carl's been in a shitty mood since that big explosion at the fort. Oh, really? Okay. And you? Not now. I'm busy. Yeah, you look real busy, dude. What the hell? Oh my god, he's just standing there, very, very busy, clearly. Um, where, where am I going, though? I don't see a pip marker. Okay, bedroom. Oh, let's not pick the door. This is, okay, E to exit. Um. Hello. Yeah? Oh, oh, you must be the guy. Farewell. It's Carl and Regis, all right? But we're here to talk to Papa. Evening. So, uh, I'm thinking, before we do this, let's do this. We go into our items. And, uh, no, apparel. And we're going to put on our titty outfit. Because that that is how you persuade people um, with this. Yeah, barter and speech up by 15. I can't not wear that when I'm going into negotiation. And do I have anything else that... I thought I had a hat or something that helped out, too. But I can't remember. Uh, well, whatever. This will be fine, I hope. I mean, I've already got my speech Hello. and barter super high anyway, so this will put me over 100. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? You can call me a cub. Uh... Ooh. Can you tell me about your people? 
You want to hear the story of the Great Khans? Not so much. It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Uh, you know what? Considering you've got such a great, deep voice, uh, we're going to listen to your um, story. But give me the short version. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR, 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. What happened at Bitter Springs? When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. Oh, crap. Uh, that doesn't sound like something the NCR would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. All right, let's talk about something else. Typical. No reference for history in the younger generations. I just listened to your story, damn it. And who are you? You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? I have an idea. You've got guts, I'll give you that. I, I do. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons. The con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. All right, well, look, I've come to ask the Great Khans to break their alliance with Caesar's Legion. Have you now? Hmm, well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. Yes. But why should I do this for you? Um... Look, do you really think Caesar's going to restore your tribe to glory? You'll be made slaves. Ha! The Great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Hmm. All right, well. Farewell. That didn't go very well, did it? Carl? You're the one making a name for yourself among the troops, aren't you? What is it you need? Um, uh, who are you? My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the Great Khans oh, great. as a token of our alliance. What alliance? In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. What's your role in Caesar's Legion? I am one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. And what does the Legion want with the Great Khans? Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Okay. Speak then. Yeah, um... And what do you think of the Great Khans? They're a tribe of fine warriors with many proud traditions and a glorious history. They will be worthy additions to the Legion. All right. Yes, goodbye. And what's your deal, Regis? I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Khans? Uh, tell me about Papa Khan. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships, ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. 
Ah, this might be the way in. Uh, what do you mean about Papa's hatred poisoning his mind? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. What's your opinion of the NCR? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So... If you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight with the NCR against Caesar if asked? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now, and he's not going anywhere. Ah, maybe he is. And who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. All right. Until next time. Okay, well, that then changes things. So we will have to go back and talk with the colonel and let her know what's up with these guys. I mean, clearly Papa is not going to change his mind about uh, his alliance with Caesar. But this Regis guy, if he could be put in charge of the cons, we just might have them on our side. Or on the end. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. Yeah, how did you get I'd like to talk here? to you about that for a moment. Right, uh, all right. What, what's on your brain? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great Khans, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already, if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. And what would convince Jack and Diane to, so Jack and Diane to support me? You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. What about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Mm, yeah, you're wise to have your doubts about that. Okay, I'll see what I can do to convince everybody. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. And how would I do that? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. I would, too, if I were you. Okay, so it looks like we do have some allies here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll disgrace Carl. Uh, but first things first, I think we need to talk to Jack and Diane and Melissa. And let's, let's look at our data here. Okay. Find a way to disgrace Carl. Convince Melissa. Alright, so where are the others? Oh, they're... Alright, let's, let's look around here. Nice painting. What? What are you saying? Who are you? You're just a con. Hey. Hey. Oh, no need to get up. Uh, so... Yeah, where are these other people, though? With the pointers pointing in that... In that direction? Or where are they? Are you Jack and Diane? This war totem. 
You know, my mother was from a tribe. Dad always liked savage girls. Must have been because of their exotic beauty or something. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that about her. Her mom was a savage. That, that kind of explains some things about Vanessa. Alright, so... Oh, wow. Alright. This canyon, though. <laughs> my god. I am gonna break my leg. Trying to find a way to get to these other people. What is that big fire pit down there? Look at the tiny little cons. These little ant cons. Uh, but, yeah. I, how the hell do we get down there? Must be a way. We're gonna find that. Oh yeah. And I forgot I was wearing this well, outfit. I see a campfire if we need it. So yeah, this man, this place is it's so spread out though. They've got But God, this yeah, I don't know about this outfit. <laughs> I mean, you know, I like it. Don't get me wrong. But boy are her boobs huge. We're going to find these other people here. they got to be tucked back here. And Are you somebody of interest? Evening. Hey, evening. Sort of You'll probably find some medicine here. Yeah, medicine. Right. Drugs is what you're talking about. Because they make drugs. And we know that. But let's find these people. Ah. There are some people. Are you Diane? No, you're just a con. Are you Diane? Nope. Are you Diane? Hey. Nope. Drug lab. All right. You look like a Diane. It's gorgeous here. This may be the most beautiful place I've seen in, in all my time on the road. You'll probably find some medicine here. Okay. Well, Willow likes the place. This is Jack, apparently. Yeah, that's Jack. Evening. And this is Diane. Evening. You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? Uh, well, um. Uh, what is it you do here? We keep the great cons from falling apart, essentially. Jack manufactures the chems. I organize the runners and the shipments. Uh... So, you're drug dealers? We're supplying things people want in exchange for things our tribe needs. Don't judge us. No, I'm not judging. Uh, who do you sell to? We make regular shipments to a lot of settlements around the Mojave. A lot of our business comes from the fiends lately. Personally, I think they're kind of creepy, but Papa likes the fact they get all hopped up on Psycho and harass the NCR patrols. I bet. Good to know, and I've got other questions. Like what? Like, where'd you get that outfit? I want one like it. Uh, I've... Uh, let's see. Um, God, she's got so much dialogue. Um, you've got an impressive setup here. Uh, have you considered making more helpful Kims? Helpful? What, like bathtub stim packs? <laughs> What's the point of that? Uh, medical supplies are always scarce, and they don't kill the buyer as often. Think of the profits. You've got a point. Selling meds to the locals could be a pretty nice side gig. All right, I'll tell Jack to give it a try. Nice. Um, so, all right. Well, you know what? She's got so many things. Um, what do you think about Caesar? Well, it's not like I'm super attached to working with Caesar or anything. But if it'll stop his patrols from harassing my runners, I'm all for it. Papa hasn't stared us wrong yet. Uh, tell me a little about the Get Great Cons. I'll spare you the history lesson. Talk to Papa Khan if you want to hear that story. Good. Things have been rough for a while now. Even with Jack working all the time and my runners making deliveries daily, we're barely getting by. Maybe this alliance with Caesar will help, but I don't know. Why are things so tough? Red Rock Canyon isn't exactly the most hospitable place. Mm, true. There's no food, barely any water, and nothing anybody wants. We used to send patrols out to acquire supplies, but ever since Bitter Springs, there just aren't enough of us left. Alright, let's talk about something else. Sure. What do you want to know? I've been told uh, you're someone I should talk to about stopping the Khan's alliance with Caesar. Hey, it's not like I'm super attached to working with Caesar or anything. But if he'll stop his patrols from harassing my runners, 
I'm all for it. Yeah, you, you said that. But Caesar isn't going to let you run drugs as an ally any more than he supports it now. He hates Kim's. I haven't heard anything like that. Do you have any proof? Uh, not yet, but I'll find some. Okay. Come on back when you do. Hmm, all right. Well, that's that then. Um... Oh, I'm looking to make a few caps. Got any work? Hmm, you look like you could handle yourself in a fix. All right, I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened to him, I'll give you some real work. Sure, just tell me who I'm looking for and where to start. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders southeast to find a route into Arizona, to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. Okay, I'll come back with news. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. Wow, okay, that was unexpected. I <laughs> didn't, didn't really think I'd be getting into a bunch of quests with the cons, but uh, here we are. So I think we'll talk with Jack a little bit, and then we will probably go help these Hello. guys. The and man, I, now I'm going down a whole new path. But that's all cool. We've got our lovely, lovely, ooh, wow, look, I just, I get tongue-tied when I see her in this outfit. But uh, it, it works that way on the NPCs, too. So we like that. But uh, I will just say thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon.